Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Last time we started plumbing and we started fighting some enemies, and this time we're gonna apparently start out the video by fighting even more enemies. So that seems like a solid idea. There's a lot of super flies down here and a lot of spinies. But again, they give very good experience points, so it's a good idea to fight as many as you can. And they're pretty easy to beat too. Their action commands are predictable, uh, and they go down pretty fast. I believe both Mario and Luigi are at level 9 at this point, so that's a pretty good level to be at for this point in the game. Not that, you know, I've been skipping very many battles, but, you know, this is about where I should be, so that's good. Uh, so let's... when we did a spin jump on this thing, all that happened was an enemy came out. So I think if we do it again, nothing happens. So, Q Akbar, it was a trap. Indeed, it was a trap. So, I can't really find anything to do here, so I guess we're just not, gonna not do anything at all. Let's just continue into the next room. Right, let's spin jump this thing. This should make something happen. Four. Okay, sure. I, I didn't want to do that. Sorry, Luigi. Three. Three what? Three what? Two. One. Zero. Okay, I didn't really understand that, but whatever. Oh no, I want high jump. High jump. And high jump again. Up into here. Let's see, what can we do in this room? It looks like we have some question mark blocks that we will collect. And we're going to do a spin jump, because that seems like a solid idea. And I'm sure that'll affect this room, yeah. Since that other spinny thing was apparently a tarp. It was a tarp, indeed. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost done with the sewer area, though. I think this is the last part of it. I do like the underground theme, though. Remix. It is very nice. There are so many classic Mario references in this game. That's what I love about it. There's so many of them. So we'll make that waterway flow yet again, and now we can get in this room. But let's fight this last Superfly. Come on, Superfly. Come try me. Yeah, you're dead. That must be so insulting, though, when you die on your own attack. That that sucks. How could you, you could formulate this big strategy? You know what? I'm going to jump twice before I attack him. Maybe I'll throw him off, and then you just die. Like, what the hell? It wasn't even worth it. Okay. So I think this is the last room. I'm almost positive this is the last room. Ooh, there's a save album here, so that means there's something important happening. Oh, it's Lady Lima! Thank the stars you saved me, oh heroic souls! What do you mean, saved you? Yeah, we did, but... Wait, wh what? why save you? What do we save you from? What are the Mario Bros doing in a place like this? What? You claim that I dropped the pair of you down here, and that I told you to fix the plumbing? Most perplexing. We were attacked by Kakletter and her fiends, and I've been stuck here ever since. Huh. Uh-oh. Perhaps the Lady Lima you encountered was... If it isn't obvious already. Not Lady Lima at all! It was Kakletter. You have completely and pathetically fallen into my trap! It was a trap, after all. Repairing the plumbing is the key to disabling the Beanstar security system. Sure, why not? Because the RPG said so. The plot said so. Kekleta, it is the hurrying time. We must take that bean star and fastly run away from this place. Yeah! Kekleta's, you know, design is pretty cool, though. She's actually a very menacing boss. So, she has in her possession both the bean star and Peach's voice. What does this mean? I actually have no idea. I think they're going to explain it right now. The thing that can grant all desires, the bean star. We've always remained at this castle, acting as guardians, protecting the Bean Star, and keeping it out of evil hands. So the Bean Star is the Triforce, which is the Star Rod, which is everything else in every other game. It can grant wishes. So of course, if Cacoletta is able to use it, oh, she does have that weird face though. I didn't. I thought only the fake Lady Lima had that weird face. No, she does too. Is there anything actually in the cell? Oh, there is. I know this game. I'm too smart. Is Queen Bean safe? I have no idea. I'm so frightened. Blah, blah, blah. Grab some syrup. Oh, coins, 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 coins. I kind of screwed up that, didn't I? Okay, mushroom, mushroom, and mushroom. Perfect. Okay, so let's continue on. Let us save, because you know there's a save album here for a reason. There has to be. We'll save in the second part of Bean Bean Castle Sewers, both at level 9 this time, when it eventually saves.
There we go. <laughs> when it eventually decides to save. So let's get out of here, because I'm kind of sick of this place. As much as I enjoy the music and the atmosphere, I'm kind of sick of this. Also, I like how the stairs are made out of pipes. Very interesting, very unique design. All right, back up here. We're too late, the bean star. <laughs> Apparently we're not too late, because I didn't leave. They're still here for some reason. Oh, jeez. I love, also love Cacletta's music. This is Cacletta's theme, and it's pretty awesome. And the world would be Kekleta's snack cake, apparently. Say, Mario boys, you haven't bothered to pay a visit to your host, Queen Bean? I thought you had better manners. Wouldn't you agree, Queen Bean? That is one hell of a Queen Bean. <laughs> yeah! My jokes are not funny. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So, this is our first... Well, not our first boss battle. This is an, our next boss battle. Which is against She-Hulk, apparently. But, basically what we do, it's actually very easy. We have to hammer Queen Bean. I believe you can attack her arms and her crown. So I want to attack her arms first. Oh, we can't hammer them, because they're in the air. So we can only jump on them. That was kind of stupid. It doesn't really matter which arm you attack first. As long as you disable her arms. But she does do the shockwave attack that's actually pretty tricky to dodge. So you do have to be very careful. And she actually inches closer and closer every time, so gotta watch out for that. Of Mario attack that arm, Luigi attack that arm. Ow. Ow! Damn it! Mario just got pounded into the ground. Wow, did that suck. Okay, one up mushroom. I'm running out of these. Wake up, Mario. Good. Good stuff. Ready to go. Yes, let's disable. Her right arm will probably be disabled with this attack. No, nope, not yet. Damn it! Why can I not do anything about that? That sucks. Alright, Luigi, take it take it away from here. Go solo. Damn it. This sucks. Okay. You know what? Item time. Another one up to heal Mario. There you go. Have some health. You definitely need it. I need some help here. This is this is not good. Why am I getting decimated by Queen Bee? Okay. Heal Luigi. There we go. We gotta time it. So when the fist comes down, you actually hit it with a hammer. That's a tricky action, man. Huh? Wow, is that a tough one. Yeah, let's disable these arms. There we go. That's what I want to do. Now this should be a lot easier. Stop attacking Mario. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. That's not supposed to happen. Another one up. This sucks. I'm not doing very well at all. Get back in the game, Mario. Yeah. Right, item. Use a mushroom on yourself. We'll take this turn to heal up. But now we're both at full health, so now this should go a lot better. Ow. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Don't care. At this point, I think I'm good now. Probably should have healed up before this boss battle. It's probably not a good idea to go into a boss battle with only half health. Gotta keep that in mind for next time. Anyway, if you jump on these things, they turn into beanies. Uh, luckily, beanies don't really pose much of a threat at this point. But now we can directly attack Queen Bean, so I will do that with some uh, bros attacks. Level 3 bounce bros sounds like a good idea. Yeah, there we go. 15 damage. Yeah, beanies, <laughs> I don't really care about beanies at this point. Because you can pretty much kill them with a counter attack. If I can even dodge them at all. That's another issue entirely. Queen Bean spits out beans at us, which is strange, but whatever. Splash Bros. Yeah, there we go. That's some good damage right there. Uh, more Bros attacks. Why not? Might as well use up our Bros points. No, no sense in saving them. Because actually, I think you, you'll restore all your Bros points after a battle anyway. I think Mario's and Luigi's attack stats are pretty much even at this point, too, so that's good. They both seem to be doing the same amount of damage. But yeah, once you disable Queen Bean's arms, the battle becomes much easier. I mean, that was just ridiculous before. That's actually pretty hard to dodge, too. So, it's a good thing that at this point, you can just slam her with Bro's attacks, and she'll eventually go down. But before that, damn it, that's hard. There we go. Come on, Bean. Beanies, they can't even do anything to me. 
they do one damage if they hit me. Yeah. Doesn't even matter, really. Uh oh. Arms are back. Ah, oh, the shockwave attack. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> I love how the shockwave also kills the beanies. So, good job, Queen Bean, taking out her own loyal minions. We'll attack that arm first. I don't know why. That's, that arm in particular is pissing me off for some reason. Alright, here we go, this... Oh, shockwave. I much prefer the shockwave attack over the other attack. Although, see how she inches closer and closer? I guess if you let her get too close, that's when she'll do the, you know, other attack that I very much dislike. So, I guess that was a secret all the time, was keeping it... Keeping her uh, further away so she can't get in that more powerful attack. Good thing I figured that out now towards the end of the battle, right? Ow. <laughs> I still get hit with it, though. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's take out that arm. Okay, jump on these things to make some beanies. <laughs> I love this. She makes her little army of beanies. Okay, bros attack. Level 3 bounce bros. Also, having level 3 bros attacks mastered at this point... It's very helpful because level 3 takes up one less bros point, so you can actually get more attacks in that. And advance! Oh yeah! That's pretty good! So I'm gonna explain what that does after after this attack turn, because you guys are probably really confused by that. Okay, jump on that. And jump over this one. And jump over this one, apparently, because Queen Bean just keeps spitting out beans at us. Uh, let's do some Splash Bros. Hit Queen Bean yet again. So now, we can actually do uh, an advanced version of Bounce Bros. I'm actually gonna switch down to... Oh, I can't even switch down. Oh, that sucks. But I'll show it off later, I guess. But now that we use Bounce Bros enough times, we can do an advanced version of it, which does more damage. Uh, so that's always good. We'll just attack with standard attacks, and apparently that little jump was enough to take down Queen Bean. But I love how the battle continues. We actually have to fight these beanies and take them down. The battle is not over yet. <laughs> we still have beanies to take care of. A boss battle against two beanies. Alright, come on, beanie. Oh, damn it. I thought I could take it down on a counterattack, but even then it had to get the last lap in. Oh, well. Good damage, good items, and level 10. That's good. The only thing, my only concern at this point is I did use quite a bit of 1-Up Mushrooms for this point in the game, so that's my only real, real issue. Let's increase Mario's HP, because he seems to desperately need some health. <laughs> only one health, but oh well. And Luigi, level 10. Luigi's stats are catching up to Mario's. He might even be better at this point. More well-rounded. More well -rounded. I like that. Oh, let's get some HP for Luigi, too. Get four? Come on. Ah, two. There was a four in there, if you saw it. Anyway. Queen Bean, She-Hulk, is defeated. Oh no, Kekleta forced Queen Bean to eat a belly belch worm. Ha! Huh. Belly belch worm. Interesting. Will Queen Bean ever return to normal? <laughs> Bounce, jump, 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 jump. The Mario Bros will do something about it? Of course we will, because we're awesome. <laughs> Look at Luigi's face. Priceless. Don't. There's no known way to spit out an ingested belly belch worm. But there is that one way. <laughs> of course there is. She drank Chocolo Reserve from the legendary Chuckle Huck Woods. Ah, I smell us an adventure. <laughs> yeah, of course we'll go to Chuckle Huck Woods. And we'll find the Chocolo Reserve. That seems like a good idea. I suppose I have no choice but to rely on you. <laughs> <I'm surprised. laughs> is that really the default option to rely on the Mario Bros? The Mario Bros have never failed. Take this bean bean brooch from uh, from Lady Lima and head towards the Chateau de Chocolat. Don't you should love the French words? Parlez-vous français? Oh. Anyway, let's go. We're done here. I'd use a lot of one-ups, though. That's the only thing. It's otherwise, not too bad. Next time, got to remember to heal before a boss battle. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't heal before the boss battles. That's what's been my fatal flaw so far. Because if I went into that battle at full health, maybe things would have turned out differently. But instead, I got pretty much demolished. So now we have to go... Oh, nope, we're going to interrupt it first. By this little thing. Lady Lama has asked that you take this along with you. I got a bean badge. It's a badge. So yes, if you equip it, 
You'll get. Yeah, I know, I know. I gotta go through the little tutorial. It's gonna. He's gonna appear in my suitcase. To equip badges, select this icon. Then you can see the gear and the badge you're equipped with. Mario has work pants right now, and but he will equip the badge, the bean badge, actually, and it actually shows what it does for our stats. It's simple time since you only have one right now. So yeah, it shows what it'll do to our stats, and it'll increase Mario's bros points and attack power, which is pretty awesome. And Luigi's like, hey, don't I get one? And it's like, ah, oh, damn it, no. <laughs> what sucks? Come on, Luigi, get over it, and get your own badge.